Well, hey, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. So today, uh, I'm going to go out exploring. I've got Wilbur on the back of the truck right now. And I'm going into an old mining district. It's uh, late 1800s, early 1900s. Uh, there was an old mill in there. The mill has since gone. There's a foundation left. The mines were up a lot higher. Uh, when they first started mining, there's four different mines up in the tops. When they first started mining, this road that I'm going on, it uh, they bring the ore down in wagons. And then they uh, build a tramway. So I'm going up the old, uh, the old wagon road with Wilbur and I'm going to go look for some ore. And I've been up here before and I found just a little bit. You know, I originally wasn't looking for it. I was doing more of the underground mining uh, exploration. So I want to go up there today, uh, get up high, and start walking where the old tramway was because all the ore that was in the tram cars was high grade ore. They're not going to just do low grade and send it down to a mill. So I'm looking for this uh, this ore. It's got copper in it. It's got gold in it. It's got silver. Uh, there was a lot of silver in this area, a lot of copper. Um, I have found a lot of Cristocola up here also, and some uh, peacock ore. So that's what I'm going to do today and see what I can get. Once I get all this ore, I'm going to uh, bag it up, then I'm going to take it home, and then I'm going to crush it up, and we're going to run it through the gold gold cube. Since now I have something that uh, I can process a lot finer gold, uh, everything out here is really super fine in, in uh, content of gold. A lot of the gold's locked underground at about a thousand feet. Uh, a lot of the shafts and stuff are uh, back caged over so you can't get into it. There are some uh, adits and stuff that I can get into, um, which I'm not going to be doing today. I left all my underground stuff at home. I'm more concentrated in uh, getting this ore and seeing what uh, values that we can get. So just headed out there right now and I'll be out there shortly. We'll unload and then we'll head up the old tram road. Okay everybody, well we've made it to the drop-off point where I'm gonna park the truck and trader. Wilbur's unloaded. I'm just gonna head up into the, uh, the mountains and uh, start the explore. Okay everybody, so I'm just working my way up the road. This little uh, road right here takes you to a uh, prospect. I've been in there. It only goes in about 40 feet. But the tramway came down this canyon. Got old Wilbur. But I wanted to show you this. There was an old building here. Uh, you can see over there a rusted out uh, box, or a spring mattress. Got a few old cans. Now this building, 19th century probably, because the the nails are are round nails. You can see a piece of metal over there where the stove probably went through the roof. That big old beam right there was probably a bearing right down through the middle. You can see where the tar paper was on some of this. There's some asphalt. So probably 30s, 40s when this building uh, was probably standing up. And they build it right there, build it right into the side of the mountain. Then you just go up more, and uh, that's where that little prospect is. There, there was nothing. It it faces out really, really quickly. But just wanted to show you guys this. I also brought my uh, metal detector. I brought the Gold Monster 1000. I left my Equinox 800 at home. See what we can do. There's that box spring. Old can. 
You can see the stacked rocks. So there was a building up here on this level, then another building down there. Don't know really what it was. Could have been part of what the tram system was, who knows. All right, everybody. So I'm up here uh, in this one little field. Well, I'm coming up the, the road. That's where the tramway went. Um, so I'm always looking and stuff. But I just pulled into here, just got off a of Wilbur. Show you a little piece of ore just sitting there. You can see the copper in it. It's got a lot of, uh, got a lot of copper in it. It's quite a weighty rock. So what I'm looking for is ugly, heavy rocks. I'm also looking for these copper values. Now this area was more known for silver. There was a silver mine up here, but like I said, this area is also a gold producing district below. They, uh, they mined a lot of gold. Uh, they were pulling a lot of gold out of here. Galena was pulled out of here. Silver, obviously. Gold. And copper. The area is, uh, is also known for copper. Now, the main country rock out here is called desert limestone. And then we've also got mudstone out here. I'll leave a, uh, a screenshot of uh, the the uh, geological profile of this area in the uh, in the video. So I'm just going to get to it, start looking for some ore, see what I can find. Like I said, I'm bringing the metal detector too. There's some places I want to metal detect a little bit. I'm not going clear up to the old mines today. So I'm just here on an ore gathering mission. So see you guys in a bit. All right, everybody. So I'm working my way up this uh, little creek. It's dried up. And I'm finding quite a bit. I also found a piece of fluorite, just a small piece, which is really neat. The other thing I found is an actual relic. I found, and it's got to be late 1800s, early 1900s, and I'll, I'll put a picture in the, uh, in the video too, of uh, parts of an old boot or a shoe still with the nails in it. Uh, one, they're the sole. One looks like it's a sole or a heel. The other part is the back piece that goes up, and it looks like it could be in a lady's shoe. Just a part of it. Which I thought was really neat. Every once in a while, I'll, I run into that. When I was up in Bannock, Montana, I found a piece of a, of a shoe up there, too. Oh, see? Here's a, another piece. You can see the quartz stringer in it. It's not super heavy, but it's got a little weight to it. Finding a lot of float. Another thing I'm finding is slag. I'm finding a lot of slag. And it's obviously light. Oh, here's a piece of, here's a really cool piece of quartz. Whoops, fat fingers. Look at that. That is just a neat little piece of quartz. So that's going to go into the bucket. But just looking at, looking at everything. Here in a bit, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go grab uh, the old metal detector and start metal detecting this a bit too. Man, I bet the water comes through here lickety split quick just because it narrows. It narrows pretty quick. Oh, hey, check it out. Check it out. An old bottle top. <laughs> oh, I'll be darned. It's an old one. 
That's neat. I'm going to put that in the relic. <laughs> Man, too bad these aren't gold nuggets, huh? That'd be, oh, that'd be the bee's knees, wouldn't it? Find a gold nugget today. <laughs> well, you never know. I mean, you just never know, but that'd be cool. Wow, look how narrow it gets right here. Wow. I think I'll uh, turn around right here and then I'll go up. After I metal detect this, I'll go up and work, work up there a bit. But man, look at that. If there was water here all the time, I'd bring a high banker up here. I could only imagine what's dropped out of out of solution up in here into these uh if there's any gold. I mean gold 19, 19.3 times heavier than water. Man get caught up in that into that mud. Run that all the way back. Oh that'd be cool. That'd be neat. Oh, it's all peaceful up here too, folks. It's nice and quiet. It's so neat. Well, I'm gonna head back down that way. So I just looked up on the bank and uh, checked that old boy out. So I'm gonna take that home, crush it up. I've got a lot of it going through here. Then up through here too. That was just up on the bank. I can only imagine the torn of water that comes through here. You know. So I'll throw that in the uh, in the old sack. Oh, there's another little piece. That's a nice little piece. Oh, this is neat. This is so fun. All right, just coming up this little trail right here, there is a, an old foundation. It was probably for one of the tram supports. Let me walk up a little bit better so you guys can see this. Those little stacked rock. And it's facing towards that canyon wall. And I bet there's another corresponding somewhere over over that way. I'll go go see. Uh, most of the wood is gone, but I did manage to find a couple pieces. We'll walk over there. Left my metal detector there on top of it. So there's a piece right there. That's a piece of milled lumber, doesn't look like much. There's some some right there. And the biggest piece is, is right here. Now this building was white. And how I know there's some white paint on that board so outside of that there's there's not much left just the foundation and a couple sticks of wood
And what's crazy, I mean, you can see they lined the path right here. This was a path. It's obviously overgrown now. But from this point, also, up there in those cliffs, at the very top of that one that's got the ledge coming out, see if I can zoom in. There's a building that's collapsed on top of that. I mean, you look around here at some of where these tailings piles are coming out of these mines. And it's amazing that they even got up there. I mean, that's on top of that. They probably came from the other side. I haven't figured a way to get over there yet, but I will one day because I want to document what's over there. So earlier I showed you that cabin that fell apart. I'm on a road just above it going to the prospect, but I want to show you something. Pipe coming out of the ground. So they must have farmed water from up way up high. So with that construction, I'm thinking 40s. That's a lot of work though, to bury a pipe at the top of a hill. I've been in other areas where they've just laid the pipe on the ground, didn't even bury it. Well, I've got a bunch of ore and a bunch of other samples, and so I'm just working my way down the canyon now. Find somewhere shady here in a minute, have my lunch. It's, uh, it's quite warm now. It's a hundred, at least. Oh. Got some more stacked rock for the road. They stacked it up, and then they just dumped a bunch of cement on top of it for that creek that comes down. So what piqued my attention was I found an old claim marker. Pretty crazy, huh? It got washed away. Well, everybody, I'm back at the truck. I got all my uh, samples. I got four bags of samples. So when I get home, I'll take them all out of the bags and uh, I'll take a bunch of pictures and uh, post those pictures on here. And then, uh, then I'll do a video of uh, crushing everything up and uh, seeing what we, uh, we get out of it. I could get absolutely nothing or I could get something. It, uh, I don't know yet. I mean, I know it's got copper in it. So hopefully there's some gold. I mean, that'll be very nice. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll include some pictures. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now. Okay, everybody, so I'm back home now. This is what I've got. Got a lot of uh, heavy rocks that have got a lot of iron staining in them. Got quartz in them. So a lot of iron. So I'm going to crush all that up. I found some really cool quartz crystals. This is that piece of fluorite that I found. Just a small piece. This one struck me as odd. I found a piece of obsidian, just a chunk of obsidian. Here's my little small nuggets that I found. And this with the, uh, the copper staining, that's oxidizing out of it. So I'm gonna crush Crush all this up. There you 
go see what if there's any values in it. This one has a little bit of that copper, but there's a lot of uh, crystal quartz and stuff in here, so hopefully there's some value in there. It's a little bit of a solid rock. This one's that big one I found on the side of the hill. It's got the, the they're going right through here. This one's a lot of quartz. And then just sporadically through it, you see green. This one's got green right at the very end. And there's this. This one's got some blues in it too, right at the end. So we'll crush it up and see. And then I got these two heavy monkers. A lot of black crystallization, but this one caught my eye. So I have a vein of iron running right through here. You can see this, all the iron staining. It's quite a heavy rock, I mean very heavy. But the kicker is, and I don't know if the video can show it, but there is a ton of sulfides all over here. There's a vein, of, a sulfide vein right here. There's, vein, there's sulfides right here. You can see right there, tip of my finger, there's some sulfides. And it is a quite a very heavy rock. A lot of crystallization in it. So this one's going to be a fun one to crush up. Just to see if there's any values. Like I said, you can see that little vein of iron. And don't they say, gold rides an iron horse? You got all the black crystals. More and more sulfides. You got tons of sulfides up here. And this one. I'll crack this one. I don't see a ton of iron going through it. I mean a little bit right up here. It's very very heavy also. A lot of black crystals. Um, in the sun you can definitely see more of the sulfides that are in this. Nothing like that. Got some iron staining around. So it'll be interesting to see what this chunk of material is. And then, the relics I found. I showed you the bottle that I found, just the tip of it. I found an old, almost like a grommet. And here is the heel to that lady's shoe. Like I said, there's still, still nails here. And then, it's got to be the back of a boot or a shoe. Don't know. I mean, like I said, I find these old, old ones all the time from the 1800s in old ghost towns and stuff. This one's kind of, uh, I don't know. I'm really curious. Leather's very, very brittle, but there's also some attachment nails in there too. So, I don't know. Interesting, though. And then I got. Just for kicks and giggles, I got some book quartz. I'm gonna crack it, look at it through a loop, see if there's anything. It's got a nice, nice vein of quartz. I mean, I'm not thinking there's anything in here. Got some more, just just quartz, just to just to crack them open and see if there's anything worth hitting with the dolly pop. So that everybody, that is uh what I did today. The next video I'm going to do is I'm going to dolly pot this stuff and then we'll run it through the gold cube and see if there's any uh, good gold content in there and just kind of assay it and see see what we got. So I thank everybody for coming along. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.